Well, this is how we're looking right now. I've got most of the decals on. All right. Now, these things, even with that triple coating of the spray lacquer, are a booger to get done right. And uh, some of the worst parts of it are, are, of course, we already talked about getting those pen stripes going down there. Those are bad. The stripe around the base of this top crystal is never seems to line up correctly. Um, ones that I completely keep forgetting every time I do this model are is this um, greenish gray ring that goes there. It invariably, I mean, it's not big enough. That's the problem. It's not big enough. Once you put this thing down, it's not big enough to fit around this a b deck thing here or a deck or whatever deck it is it's it, and it won't it'll just tear and i found that um from a distance fixing the tear with um to me um xf 23 light blue is almost a perfect match almost you can barely see where it were there and over there and also the other thing that just sucks with the greatest of suckiness are the phaser covers. This yellow with the red trim around it, little phaser covers here, 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 and the three on the bottom. Hold on. These phaser bumps here, they, they are horrible. Um, you have to just completely try to saturate them for attempt after attempt with the... Um, with your micro saw to get them to lay down. Even then they just look horrible. This time I was more concerned about getting this paint job done right. If I ever do this again, I am just going to paint those because I have found while trying to repair how bad they look that the uh, Vallejo Model Air 71.135 chrome yellow um, is a pretty good match for that yellow. And uh, so that's a good color. I mean, I'm, I'm repairing it with that color right now as much as I can. But the rest of it's looking pretty good. I've got uh, some more smaller, the names and uh, some, you know, of the pennant uh, decals to put on. But other than that, I am basically done with this and ready to put on the, uh, the final flat coat. But just... Repairing some of this paint stuff. I just attached the roll bar and uh, need to put on the last of those decals. And then it is time to put on the final gloss. And hopefully the lights still work. You know what? I haven't checked those in a while. <clears throat> Let's find out. Let me see here. This is the positive. This is the negative. Yep, looks like they still work. Um, let me turn off the overhead. That's a bonus. That's a definite bonus there. All right, well, the last of the decals have been put down just now, and they're still still drying. They still need to put some uh, microsole on them once they're done in order to get them set down. And... Uh, as per usual, those freaking sensor things suck. Oh my God, they suck. And the way they're supposed to lay down from here on out, I swear, from here on out, I found out that this yellow matches that just fine. So from here on out, I'm actually going to mask that off and paint these in because, ugh, oh my God, make you want to retch. Anyways, other than that, it's um, looking good. All put together, looking all pretty, nice and sparkly. And if I go ahead and plug it in to power, turn that on. We've got some nice lights going on. And coming in through all the windows, you can see that. And so that's, that works. That works okay. There's some 
light leakage, but this model, this model was all about me learning how to use the paint masks. And that's what I've done. So I'll montage some pretty pictures of this after I get it. The rest of the decals all set down and then spray it with a matte, a matte clear coat, and then it should all be good. So, yay, this one done on to the, well, almost done. Oh, well, well, done enough for me to say done now, even though it's not done. And then on to the next. Okay, I'm calling it done. I could spend much more time going through and being persnickety and making sure that everything is done to muy perfection. And uh, I'm not going to do that. Uh, it's good. I worked on what I wanted to work on, which was getting these, my first time doing the masks for the Aztec. And it looks good. The lighting works. And I'll show that here in a second. The COBs work inside. All the all that stuff is working. So, I mean, there's there's things that if I do another one, which I do have another one upstairs, but if I do another one, there's there's things that I will have to make sure of in order to make it an even better look to it. But for right now, for what it is, I think it looks good. I've put the uh, I've put the clear coat on it, and uh, the Aztec masking is still showing up through that. So now all that's left is to put some juice to it and let you guys see what that looks like. So hold on a second. Oh, something I wanted to say before I turn on the lights um, for where the everything connects up at, you know, and the wires come down. I cut a piece of bronze tube that I got, here you see it. I picked this up at uh, Hobby Lobby, I think it was. Here's the, uh, here's what it is. Uh, it's 3 16th inch brass tube. There was two of them in there and they've lasted me through several models. And I just take the, uh, Oh, here it is. I just take the um, the normal stand piece, which is this solid piece of metal, and I measure it off, and then I use a cutoff wheel on the Dremel, and I just cut it off. And so I have this. And then to attach it into the model, I take the normal piece that comes with the model that that would normally plug in and it goes to a strange ball and socket kind of deal. I just take the one that goes into the model and I drill that out with a one eighth inch bit. And that's perfect size to run the wiring through and not rip out the sides. And so you're able to get that in. Uh, the only problem is though, is it just seems to be without having that, without having that ball and socket joint to, to adjust the angle. If I take this down here, it, it just seems like the models are always just tilted nose down a little bit. And I've got to figure out how I can correct that. Let me see if I can show you here. Hold on. Here you go. You can kind of see it's just, it's just like a couple degree angle down on the nose, you know, down plane. And um, it just, it irritates. But let's take a look at some lights and turn off the overheads. So you can see. Now there's some light leakage, um, but for the most part, I love how the light comes around the shuttle bay doors. That just looks great. And the COBs look good in there. If future iterations of this, what I'll do is, um, because I ran the wires, you know, I built the nacelle, then ran the wires down, and then put the pylon on. In future, I'm going to, you know, build the whole thing, put the pylon on ahead of time. That way I can do better light blocking. 
and, you know, light block in there and stuff like that, and then be able to put it up. But other than that, you know, the lights are looking good. Um, the running three volt system through it. And, you know, even the, uh, even the bottom ones lit up. So, and also you can, it looks good. It looks good for, for a, a learning device. I enjoy it. And I think I'll take a break before the next one. Hold on. Let me take it back up. The next full fledged, you know, do everything to it is going to be the one, 1000, uh, enterprise refit. But in the meantime, I'm going to take a little, little breather from something so intense, do something just a, a smidge easier. I might do the enterprise and botany Bay star seed one, which, which will be fun. Or the other one that I'm thinking about doing, um, I got it as a Christmas present and, uh, is this one from Bandai with the Death Star 2 at 2.7 million scale and a Star Destroyer at 114.5 thousandth scale. Um, so it's going to be one of those two I'm going to do just as a breather before diving back into a big boy. Um, cue the pretty picture montage. Mm -hmm.